Lucina players, but now it feels like everybody's playing Lucina over Marth. Yeah, just when you look at the stats, it's just Lucina is clearly that better character. Well, Marth is still a viable character. He can still do things. Wow, that yep. just hit from under the stage. That was disgusting. So, going to be seeing, yeah, Marth versus Zelda. I feel like this match will be that Zelda will have a decent time of uh, just zoning out Marth, but once Marth, Marth gets in, Zelda's only option to get out of disadvantage is that Nehru's love. And it is invincible for a decent amount of time, but like we see right there. I mean, yet again, like, all Marth needs is that one tipper, and Zelda's already at 95%, so a good tipper fair uh, near the ledge might be able to take the stock. Mm -hmm. yep, tipper Ooh. forward air, not going to kill just yet. <sighs> not getting the edge guard, but, yeah, r read the roll with the F-Smash. Going to take that first stock, only 69% on uh, Uxer. Yep. Gets the parry on jab one. Right. Ooh, getting a quick out-of-shield fair. Punish the Marth, and oh, he gets the dare. Yep. That dare is so lingering. Yep. If you have that linear recovery and she gets that dare out, a lot of the times if you don't beat it out, you'll just die. Yep. It actually has a decent amount of priority, too. I mean, it's not, it beat out Marth's up B, and that's like one of the best like, up B like, recoveries in the game. Exactly. Mm, these tipper fares a lot. I'm really liking uh, Uxer's spacing because he's doing a decent job, like a pretty good job of getting these tippers on Zelda. Right. You can definitely tell that he's like, he's practicing his character, he's not just throwing things out. Right. He definitely knows like, hey, this is where you're going to be, I will need a space right about here. Or you're trying to retreat? There, I'm going to punish your, your landing option. Yeah, but not going to get the tipper. Goes for a kind of hard read. Actually, if he just kept holding it, holding it he would have actually gotten the neutral get up. Right. Uh, well, given he timed it right. I mean, it's one of those things where I feel like going for hard reads on uh, Zelda uppies, not really worth it unless, like, you know they're going to, like, go on stage for it. Yeah, it's just so tricky. It's just because she can just hold down, get that hitbox, and then you'll just take a lot of damage. Right. Right now, actually, this Marth's having a bit of trouble getting these kills. He's not getting these tippers that he's usually uh, landing. Gets the throw. That's not going to be it, though. Down throw. Yeah, I understand that. You want to keep up throw fresh. Right. I'm pretty sure the next time he grabs him, up throw will kill. So he just yeah. needs to land that grab on Zelda. I mean, up throw kills at around like 180, 190%. So Zelda should be at up throw percentage at this point. Yeah, with the rage, it'll kill. Yeah. Well, right now, actually. Up tilt will kill, yeah. Even the sour one. And in that situation, it actually seemed like Zelda had more kill power because she had the lightning kick out of shield. Mm -hmm. She had up B out of shield. It was actually really scary because that could have gone either way. Right. Throws my same tipper ass smash. You could tell how much that hurt. Yeah. Those are the ups. Up smash. I'm really not sure about that option. Right. Would have liked to just see a grab down throw up air. Or maybe even like a down throw if you wanted to like poke the shield. True. And again, up air combos and going for the fair. Re oh. the air dodge, but unfortunately swinging the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's really only just going for these F smash reach, but he's actually he's hitting hit a lot of them. All right. And at oh. a certain point, you only need one F smash. Yeah, but at this point, he's kind of going for it a little too much. Like, see him not really fish for the kill as much and just kind of space out for these safe options like he was doing earlier in the game. Because if you just keep swinging, your opponent's going to realize what you're doing and he's going to have counterplay. Right. And at 50%, you know, this is not... This is near kill percent for Zelda. Lightning right. kick at the edge will probably kill, and that's not really what you want to see. Yeah. And the other thing is that Zelda's shield was a little bit low. I kind of would have liked to see a shield breaker like mix up just to be like, oh, oh not to the ledge. ledge. Yeah. Like we said, fishing for the kill a little too much. He just wasn't able to land it. Actually, getting that, uh, getting the guard right. to, you know, handle business. All right. One of the things I would have liked to see from Uxur is that when he had Zelda like kind of on that platform and he was underneath her. I would have loved to see a, a shield breaker mix up because Zelda had oh, like her shield was gone. Yeah, her shield was at least fifty percent, and that up air managed to bring it down to like a quarter. So if he had gone for the the neutral B mix up, being like, okay, you know I'm coming up from underneath you, you know I'm probably going to be swinging, I, I know you're going to hold shield, pop. Yeah, just qu uh, press the B button real quick, pop the shield, get you a free stock. Yep. So unfortunate, he uh, did drop that first game, and like I said, switching a little too much and. Uh, I think he finally caught a hold of that, and he was able to clutch out that first game. Right. Anthony going to take that first game. Game two, I didn't see the stage. Like, going to Battlefield, uh, the stage is really good for uh, Barth. His sword will just poke through the platform, so he gets a lot of pressure once he gets you trapped on there. All right. And then yet again, with those up air juggles, he can extend a lot of his combos with the platforms. Look like that. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, that going air. for the aggressive option, and man, just to read the air dodge. But no tipper, unfortunate. That right. down air, though. He's hitting a lot of those, and that down air hits so far. It has so much range. I'm pretty sure it covers the entire, like, battlefield platform. All right. 
Oh, oh interesting uh, read. I'm not really sure what he was going for. I feel like he was reading a roll option because I know that the tipper can hit the top of the platform. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm not sure if it would have hit there. If it would have, I I would have popped off. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. And getting that down throw up here and it wasn't really true. You saw the Marth kind of try to swing out of it. So he just caught him being a little too aggressive, so just trying to air dodge, get back to uh, neutral. So uh, Anthony actually taking the lead again. We oh. see we see Uxer getting a lot of these early conversion damages and getting so much so much damage. But when it comes to killing, he's just not really landing it because he's going for a little too aggressive options. He's going for these one-dimensional reads. All right. Like he has his low percent combos down, Pat, but it's kind of like closing the deal is what he's struggling with right exactly. now. That's what you're saying. And yep, gets that lightning kick, 80 percent. About to lap him, actually. He's up. The Zelda's about to get the second stock, and that lightning kick again, Ooh. reading the, reading the air dodge away with perfect spacing. Already three stocks to one. Yeah, I feel like Anti's definitely found their pace. You know, be like, okay, now that you're swinging, I kind of know what you're going to be doing. But no, Uxer managed to swing in down low, manages to clean up a stock. Yeah. So getting that first, getting that first stock, but you still have a lot of work to do. You're going to need to play a really good stock, not take too much percent. Right. And what we're seeing from Anthe is a. Uh, He's starting to retreat more, make the Marth approach him, and then he's getting so much damage from that because of how aggressive he's being. All right. Yep, get the neighbor's love, get off of me. And he had a quick dash attack into the Phantom, and yet again, like, the Phantom is such a good ledge trapping tool because if you get up and you try to shield the Phantom, then the Zelda grabs you, and then the Phantom comes swinging in, and you get hit by the Phantom anyways. It's honestly like just a one-button neutral because the, the guard just covers so much, and you can't, you can't do much about it unless you hit him you hit Zelda before the uh, the guards finish charging. Right. You just have to respect it. And the fact that Zelda can like let it go at any point if you try to approach means that even if you do approach and try to swing at her, like she can just let it go and you have to respect it. Again, yeah, you just have to respect it. Speaking of respect, uh, Anthony, it looks like he's ready to close out the stock dash attack. No, we're living no battlefield yeah. big. Blast zone still. Oh, but you saw him trying to counter that, which is a good idea because if you know if it's coming and he's just trying to approach him off stage like that, a counter could be a good change of reversal. Yeah, the counter had a disadvantage. I like how he was just dash dancing back and forth to try to bait out the reaction, but he didn't actually didn't get too much of a punish. That right. could have been a punish too. Yep. Gets an up till and the fair off stage? No, he's respecting the Phantom. Yeah. I think Arx is getting a little too scared of what uh, Anti can do, and yep. so he's just not he, he's not going out and punishing him when he needs to. Dash tag right. not going to kill. I think up throw will be it now. Yeah. Definitely will be it. He's at 170. Yeah. I definitely feel like the one place that you actually shouldn't respect Phantom is offstage with Zelda charging like that. Because once Zelda lets it go, it kind of like covers there for a little bit.